Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Today I wanted to talk to you about, are you thinking about filing a claim for anything? You don't need to come up with your decision on what you're going to file a claim for at all. File your intent to file with the VA. It's a one-page document that will preserve your effective date while you think about what you can apply for, whether it's applying for compensation or pension with the VA. This form is... is not required, but it is vital because it will preserve that effective date for you, meaning that if you file that intent to file and then it takes you 10 months to develop your claim, you file your claim and then it takes 10 months for the VA to decide your ratings, you will get back paid the 10 months they worked on your claim plus the 10 months you thought about what you needed to do to develop your claim. So you would get 20 months of back pay. This is huge. So make sure you're filing your intent to file and getting that on record with the VA so you could think about, do I have any secondary conditions? Are there any secondary conditions that are developing? Do I have uh, any room within my current ratings to file for an increase? Are there conditions that maybe I forgot to file for? Do you need to order your uh, military records, your service treatment records? You can do that. You can order those, thumb through them, and see if there's any conditions that you talked about, mentioned, or anything like that to make sure that you are covering all your bases with your claims with the VA. So again, the intent to file is a vital form that's not required, although I believe that uh, I wish there was a way we could require it because it only benefits you, the veteran. So with that, I'll go ahead and cut it. Thanks so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.